Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FDL. I am your host Josh and this is a cyberpunk game jam game called 9-9. It's very difficult and as you may be able to tell it's very simple because it is a game jam game and obviously you don't have a lot of time to make them. So hang on, hang on, no, oh I missed it. So, I am some kind of hacker from the space future times and I have to control this arrow and collect the squares to prevent them from breaking what I assume must be some kind of firewall or something like that. And it's extremely difficult, It because it's a cir it, it goes in circles and also that screwed me over. Because it goes in circles it kind of messes with your brain. I've had to put on inversion because obviously going in is the up arrow key and going out is the down arrow key. Pressing space switches your rotation left and right. But uh, if you're in, not inverted, it's going up is going out, and going down is going in, which confuses me. <laughs> uh, not that the game doesn't confuse me anyway, but I do a little bit better. Come on, go around this way, hurry up! Oh, if they explode, they get rid, oh, get rid of parts of your... Um, parts of the circle which kind of switch you to an outer uh, area. Oh, I collected a thing. Oh, and the circles get rid of the triangles, and if you get caught mid... Uh, oh no, I missed that. Oh, and it forced me out of the circle. God, this is a hard game. It's not... I, only because of the circles I say super hexagon, but that's kind of what it reminds... and I can entirely dodge that square. This isn't a game you can talk very fast and play at the same time very competently, but to be fair, it's uh, one of those games where... It, I, I kind of want to say like Flappy Bird, where you're like, oh, it can't be that hard to get a high score, and then your high score is two for the first five hours of playing the game, and, <laughs> uh-oh, go in, go in, grab it, ah, oh, there we go, there we go, ah, oh, we're going really fast now, uh-oh, and there's th things that block your way and basically end your run. My previous best was ten, my current score is six, I really... Wow, this is just so hard. Uh, oh, and you have a certain amount of time to do it? Is that what it's saying? No, it can't be. Hang on. Oh, okay. I was I was so distracted by the fact that you have to collect the squares, I didn't even realize that there was a countdown. So if you fail... Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way as well. Yep, it was messing with my brain. It's really messing with my brain here. Uh, oh, and I keep on getting caught out by that. So there's this countdown timer. You have 9.9 .9 seconds to get a new square each time. And that adds or resets your timer, which makes a lot more sense than what I think was happening. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'm guessing if the timer runs out, your... You're a bit buggered, really. Come on, chase it down. No, <laughs> I didn't get there in time. This is really intense. And for a game jam game, it's really well thought out. And it's like a really fast flowing, fast paced puzzle game. And um, I got to admit, I'm not very good at this kind of game, but I do enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a good, it's a good challenge. And it, it uh, brings something new to, for the people who like hardcore games, you can currently get this game on both, uh, I think you can download it and get it from, oh dear, I've got less than a second, there we go, nice, in the nick of time, there we go, go outwards, no I missed it, balls, and then, that was better though, high score of 14, see if you can beat that guys, seriously, I, I can barely beat 10, obviously, it's a very difficult game. Um, yeah, it's on Game Jolt as well as Itch.io, uh, who are the people who actually organise the Game Jam, and I really do like Itch.io just because of their free hosting of indie game developers' games, and are oh, oh yes, got it just in time. I like the combination of not having to worry about running into too many things, apart from maybe those barriers when you're uh, actually on. A, a line that you're circling around, but when you're switching lines, you've got to be careful of those uh, triangles. Uh, yeah. Got it. And that one. I gotcha. 
Oh, I didn't think about that. You can actually go faster when you're going on an interior. So you can go in to go faster and get round so you don't have to, like, trace it round. When you're... Uh, when your words that I'm trying to say. There we go. Okay, I got that one. I think... Ah, this isn't going to go very well. There we go, okay. Score of 11. I'm very close to exploding here. Ah, oh, there was a hole in the line. Oh my goodness, yeah. So this is a Cyberpunk Game Jam game. These will be free. You can also go on Itch.io and support the developers if you wish. And uh, I think that's a really cool website, so please do go and check it out. So yes, thank you everyone for watching. Please do let me know what you think of the game in the comments. And if you have any other indie games that you have discovered that you think I should cover. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.